Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat, and I have been waiting all day to make this video. Not because I was excited about, well, I am excited about making the video, but I was waiting not because of the excitement, but because of what I was waiting for. I was waiting for the mailman to deliver an attachment for my A7 IV here so that I could use an old lens. And guess what? It arrived. That's right, you're seeing me through a 50-year-old camera lens that has no autofocus or any automatic features whatsoever. So hopefully I'm in focus. According to the zebras on the camera, the little, well, never mind. That should be in focus. There's a lot of stuff going on today. I see that Donald Trump's uh, trial is having trouble getting off to uh, any kind of a start because of the jury. You know, it's ridiculous that this whole thing is happening. I've been watching videos about it here and there. I've been actually trying to avoid the news because it's not uh, fun to watch the news. You know, I'm waiting until the Israeli attack happens. But in the meantime, I guess this situation with Donald Trump continues to go on. What a farce. I mean, we talked about this kind of, but uh, where is the rule of law? How can they get... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. There should be more protections for people's rights in this country. And we're going to talk about that coming up in just a second, so stick around. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us. <laughs> I have to be careful how I move now because I've got the uh, old lens on there. It can't follow me, you know, the uh, the newer stuff, the uh, this lens that I would normally have on there. It would have focused on that lens when I held it up. Now I'd have to put this by my face for you to see it clearly because no autofocus. But that's okay. I'm sure that it has some uh, beautiful optical qualities that uh, make it worth having... Okay, the, the attachment is so cheap that it didn't matter. I mean, you can pick one up for four, 14 bucks or something. I uh, I got mine for like $2. That includes shipping. Not because it costed that much. I just had, you know, some credit and got the thing. But anyway, yes, Donald Trump has been in court. They've been trying to get the jury situation figured out. And they just cannot get jurors who are unbiased. And when they did... The information got leaked that they were, you know, part of the jury for Donald Trump's trial. And uh, <laughs> they went home because they were afraid. They were afraid they couldn't be un, uh, unbiased in their decisions because they were found out. Uh, but, you know, the trial shouldn't be happening in the first place because there's no crime. You know, a lot of people are like, okay, so he paid hush money. I was kind of the same way. Well, it turns out that we don't even know that he did that. We don't know that he paid the hush money. It's the word of... And now perjured and convicted of, uh, you know, tax evasion, lying, cheating uh, former lawyer of Donald Trump who says that that's what happened, that he paid hush money payments for Donald Trump to this uh, Stormy Daniels character and was then reimbursed by Trump. Now, the court is saying because the uh, the payment was for retainer or for, you know, just legal fees or something like that, that Donald Trump fals falsified uh, records, but they haven't proven that. And even if they did, that's not a felony. Now, they have claimed that it's in the furtherance of another crime, which I'm not sure what the crime is. I guess they were originally trying to say it was um, campaign finance laws. But the federal government said no crime. There's nothing there. So they didn't go after him. So there is no furtherance of a crime unless they have some kind of secret thing hidden up their sleeve. I think the secret thing hidden up their sleeve is probably corruption. I mean, this is only happening in New York over and over and over again. And I'm sure that when Donald Trump gets done with this trial, there'll just be more. And, you know, they're already threatening to put him in jail for 30 days because he's, you know, violated the gag order that uh, the, the judge put on him, you know. He's not allowed to talk. And yeah, what a it's that's election interference right there. Whatever side you're on, you have to look at that and say, well, you know, why do you not want him to speak? Now, I will say there's a lot of people are upset about the, the whole thing. I'm, you know, Donald Trump is going through this and his name is in the news as always. And that's good. That's good for publicity. And maybe, you know, all publicity is good publicity. It doesn't matter if it's good or, you know, the bad stuff. Everything works to get his name out there. Now, the people on Donald Trump's side, well, of course, they're going to interpret it as he's being persecuted. The people on the other side, 
maybe some of them still think that he's uh, guilty. Others might be waking up and saying, you know, like, well, it's kind of odd that uh, this keeps happening in New York. Maybe, uh, maybe they're waking up to the fact that uh, this is all just a farce. Or maybe I'm the one that's wrong. I, I don't think that I'm wrong because there's no crime being violated. Just like with the fraud trial. I mean, he's like... Uh, the, the people that gave the loan are coming in and, hey, nobody defrauded us. We made money on the deal. We'd do it again. There was no fraud here. But still, they went ahead with it. No, no, we say there's a there's a fraud here. And because Donald Trump did what everybody else does that gets loans to do real estate development, he committed a crime and we're going to fine him $450 million. Then we're just going to pull that number out of the air because... Just like with this situation, you know, misdemeanor, if anything. And, uh, well, they're just going to pull it. Oh, we, now, no, we're just going to make it a felony because we want to. How can you live under those kinds of circumstances? How can you live in a place where the, uh, the government can just suddenly decide if they don't like you to make up crimes and make up punishments, whatever they want? There's no rule of law. It's impossible to live that way. Anyway, I... Uh, like I said, I was really excited about putting this together with this old lens to see what it looks like in the end. It'll probably look exactly like the other videos, but uh, just the same. Maybe it looks better. Maybe it does. I don't know yet because I haven't edited it, but I'm going to edit it. And uh, then I'm going to put this video together and upload it. Um, you guys should tell me, by the way. I, YouTube is so bizarre. So I was doing live streams. I was doing live streams and it was getting a lot more views than when I just upload videos. But here's the thing, they're worth nothing. I mean, some of them, it's like nobody comments. Now I saw YouTube said that, that something about a problem with the comments, so maybe that, uh, but they're also worthless. I mean, it's like if you do shorts, for example, shorts are worth nothing. Apparently the live stream videos, if I put the effort into doing a live stream, you know, stay up really late to get on here. I love talking with you guys, so I'm probably still going to do it. But it turns out that, you know, when I do that, the revenue goes down, such as it is. You know, I barely get anything anyway. I don't remember when the last time was that I got paid by YouTube, but uh, you get on the live stream thing, you get more views and less money. It makes you feel like, you know, maybe you don't want to do that if you're someone who's trying to grow on YouTube. But, um, yeah, you'll have to tell me. Are you someone, do you only watch live streams typically or do you watch both live streams and the videos? Do you prefer the videos? Do you prefer the live stream? I know the live stream is more fun sometimes because it's interactive. If I did, uh, they have something called uh, Premiere where I can make a video pre-recorded and then I can put it up and I can actually be there in the audience community. You know, like there's a live chat and I can talk with you guys there. Would you prefer something like that? If I were to do something like that going forward, I, you know, I have to wonder on that <laughs> whether YouTube, it's a, it's a lot of work sometimes editing these videos. Well, actually this format, it's not so much work, but um, yeah, anyway, I'm, uh, I'm going on and on here. Let me know what you think. Do you want live streams? Would you like the premiere because it's, you know, the higher quality video, but at the same time, there I am interacting with you guys and you're interacting with each other as the video is playing, or just the plain old upload the videos sort of thing. You'll have to let me know in the comments below. Uh, and beyond that, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.